Good and cool we've got audio. Hi everybody, this is Mike with Accounting for Cycling. Today we're going to be going over my new docking station for my kind of more work focused area. Currently I'm using an Anchor 9-in-1 Power Expand USB-C Power Delivery Dock. Oh, it's been working fine for the last oh, almost three years, but it recently has encountered some problems where the USB ports I like to disconnect at random. And I've kind of determined it's not my Surface Laptop 4 from work. So we're going to upgrade this guy. Big thing that drew me to it is you can, you can do up to 100 watts charging to the host device. Plus you have two USB-C outputs that can do up to 30 watts charging. And so they are USB-C facing frontward, but you know, for the most part, I'm not going to be using the front too much, except maybe charging my mouse and keyboard from time to time and occasionally my phone. You can see too, there's four full USB-A ports on the back, including two of them are five gig per second USB threes. So let's cut this protective film off here. There we go. My gerbil might be a little bit of overkill for that, but that is fine. Gets job done. So kind of put that garbage off the side and do a cool dramatic box drop opening here. Slowly coming through. So also, as this thing's opening slowly, there we go. It does Thunderbolt 4. So, you know, it's going to be fully set up and ready kind of for you know, future devices too. So my previous one being USB-C and up to, I think it was 65 watts charging downward worked perfectly well when I was using my company ThinkPad when I was in public accounting and I was working still pretty okay for my Surface Laptop 4 but I have noticed though when I tried to do some more power intensive things using my Surface Pro 8 that there has been some issues. So let's remove this protective piece here. It's a nice finish. Bigger than I thought it would be but makes sense. It's like, look at all this I.O. So obviously you've got the uh, power brick adapter here because this thing takes in quite a bit of power. I mean, 180 watts total. Two USB 2.0s, which they have labeled as keyboard mouse. That's nice. And then two USB 3s, a full gigabit Ethernet port, HDMI 2.1, and then dual display port. 1.4s. So these will do 8K up to 30 hertz, and I mean all three of these will. And then this is your Thunderbolt 4 downstream port. So if you have it hooked up to say you know, I have the Corsair Z Neon Flex, I could have that hooked up here and have it all run right off there. And then you have your Thunderbolt 4 upstream port with 100 watt maximum charging. And then on the front here we've got our two USB-C with power delivery up to 30 watts each and then both also 10 gigabytes per second for file transfer and then there's a button here hopefully this power button also powers the laptop my current power expand you can hit the power button but it just turns the dock on and off it's kind of i don't want to say useless but it kind of is so we've got the power cord here so off the side power brick here Ooh, came out faster than i expected so, pretty sizable brick. This thing will be hidden underneath my desk, exactly where the current one is. And then you have the Thunderbolt 4 cable, which is thankfully included. I do have Thunderbolt 4 cables already, but that's a pretty nice one. I think it's just kind of their, the Anchor standard Thunderbolt 4, but it feels durable enough. Lengthwise, it's just an arm length check, probably about a meter. So, literally, I just put this up against my arm. Yeah, I believe it is an included one meter cable. So, it should be enough to reach from one part of your desk to your computer. Yeah, don't know what that means, but sure. So, that's all the all the goodies you get inside this way here. And the box itself gives you a pretty good layout of everything that's in here, too. So, yeah, they're not that they would try and hide anything, but it's all right there. So, I am an affiliate partner of Anchors. So I will have links down in the description below. That's a nice show off of like almost this gunmetal space gray kind of color. Um, it, it is meant to kind of match the new M series MacBooks to match up with them. But when you use Windows, you get really kind of all that this stock has to offer. But so I am a brand affiliate partner of Anchors. Basically all that means is 
if you use my affiliate links, I do get a small commission if you purchase something. And by small, I mean still pretty small, but it all goes right back to right back to use in the channel. So we can pick up, I mean, this thing's for work. So it's a little bit different than most of the things, but I do buy a lot of things myself for the channel and the affiliate revenue just kind of helps go right back into the channel so I can pick up more cool things. But yeah, otherwise check this thing out. I'm going to kind of play around with it now for the next couple of days. So see if it annoys me and does the same has the same issues as the previous one, or see if it is solves all of my issues of USB clicking in and out. Also, too, having the downstream port, or sorry, the upstream port off the side is kind of nice, uh, because, like, it'll go out this way, down and under to my laptop, which is right there. So, in the previous one, it's just kind of hiding right there. So, yeah, size-wise, this thing's going to be a little more invasive but that's perfectly fine i don't i really only use this charger to charge my headphones that i use when i'm on my bike trainer so yeah but so this is the current power expand works out pretty nicely it is a very nice setup so the anchor 7 778 thunderbolt docking station which is this one 12 and 1 this thing retails for 284 dollars so it's a little bit a little bit of a bigger pickup versus the power expand nine in one can be had from anchor for 120 or from amazon right now for 80 dollars so yeah it's roughly two and a half times the price two and a half times size but yeah as far as actually setting it up it should be a pretty simple i'm just going to plug this in underneath my desk there's a little opening that pops up run cords through there i'll probably at first use their U, a Thunderbolt 4 cable, um, but actually this one right here is also Thunderbolt 4. And this is currently how I get around hooking up a dedicated keyboard. So it would be nice to have those additional USB ports. It also looks kind of cool. But yeah, anyways, thank you so much for tuning in today. Again, my name is Mike with Accounting for Cycling. This has been the Anchor 778 Thunderbolt 4 docking station. Uh, check out the links down below. If you are looking for a docking station, this one's great. It has tons of inputs. Very, I like the side output too. Like this is having the output on the side just makes it a little bit cleaner where you can fish the cable around a little bit easier versus a lot of them do like to come out the front, which I guess is fine if like you're using your laptop up here and yeah. But yeah, if you have like a full dedicated dock setup, it's not the greatest. Uh, but this one works out awesome. Anchor does have a few where the upstream port does come out the back. I believe they have a Thunderbolt 3 one and a USB one. So I'm doing a firmware update right now. That's really cool. You can actually manage the whole dock just right through a software, which is nice. So Anchor also offers more like an enterprise business type solution too, where your IT team can you know, handle all this stuff remotely, or especially if you have a company that has very strict software and application download and installation policies, uh, they can actually vet the whole thing and do it all themselves. So you can kind of see the, I still have my webcam hooked up there. Ignore the other wires. I have to get back there. Actually like do some better cable management. But so I still have my webcam in that adapter that kind of points straight out, uh, but that's mostly for super duper ultra privacy mode instead of just flapping down the privacy shutter. You can just fully disconnect it. But yeah, that's about the only thing that's kind of goofily standing out there. At first, I did have an issue where my ultra wide monitor was only going into 1080p in a 16 by 9 setup, so that was less than stellar. But really, all I had to do is just change that, which was previously hooked up to a display port to HDMI adapter, just straight to the HDMI 2.1 port and fixed everything fired right up in the full ultra wide I haven't tested out these two ports yet but i mean they're pretty standard usb3 power delivery and 10 gigs per second is usb 3 point 3 point 2 by or 3 point 2 by 2 by 1 like 3 point 2 by 1 yeah otherwise they'd be 20 gigs but yeah awesome amount of io in this thing looks sharp sitting there too i may 
potentially when they move it over here, but yeah, you know, TBD on that one. The biggest reason I actually have it set up here is because, like, you can see the uh, change is to give them the load. This host here that actually is holding up my webcam and ring light. So, yeah, basically it just keeps all the cords in one spot. And yeah, so I easily could move it further over, but I don't really feel like it right now. Plus, I think it looks pretty good here. I might potentially, I don't know, I love using command strips, especially the Velcro ones. <laughs> so I might put some hook and loop fasteners down here and just kind of strap it down to the desk so it doesn't move around. But the, the, the pads on there seem to be doing a pretty good job of keeping everything in place. The little headphone charging pad here is still sitting here. Uh, so far from my testing, and it's we're doing a firmware update, that's why it's doing all the oinky stuff. Uh, this power button just turns the dock on and off. I, I don't I don't know what needs to happen to make that so it can be like you hit the button and it puts the computer to sleep. You hit the button, computer wakes up. But I don't know. I'm sure it's something in software and talking back and forth between the computer and the dock. But I know you can get some like Dell has one, Microsoft has one where like all things work perfect and you can run the whole thing where like you hit the button and your computer comes on. It's awesome. Or like uh, Lenovo has one. When I have that ThinkPad for in public accounting, like all of our docs, you just hit the one button in the office and it just, everything's synced up. But yeah, anyways, uh, so that's my first impressions. This thing's awesome. $284. It's kind of a hefty, kind of a big ask, but for, what was this? $79.99 right now on Amazon. I'll have the link for this down below. Too. Or $120 off of Anchor's website. This thing's got the same thing too, where like if you hit the power button, it just turns the dock on and off. But this is a great little thing. It's portable enough. The only thing that's not portable is you know, with the mouse, that big jumbo brick. But still's gigabit or gigabit, yeah, gigabit Ethernet. Two USB 2.0 uh, type A's on the back. Display port 1.4, HDMI. I think this one's just 2.0, but yeah, either way. Uh, might even be less than that, but HDMI, display port. You can use them both at once, but that's more of your computer dependent. Basically, any Windows laptop that I can think of will let you use both. Uh, Mac is where it gets sketchy. USB Type-C with power delivery here. Look at that. Yeah. Here we go. 5 gigabytes per second, so that's USB 3.1. Another USB 3.1, but type A here. Uh, you've got a headset jack. And then this is your, your upstream port to your host laptop. And it does 60 watts of charging, not 65. Uh, which might be where I'm running in some issues with my Surface Laptop 4 or hooking up my Surface Pro 8. Uh, because both of them are supposed to be using 65 watt chargers. And uh, yes, you can't suck enough data in power back and forth. It's not going to work right. But also might have just been some of the stuff I was plugging in here. I was trying to run a full 1080p webcam through USB 2. <laughs> so it's probably my issue. But yeah, this power button is just for turning the dock on. Eventually, when your laptop runs out of battery, this will also turn the laptop off. But yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, Check out their website. I've, I greatly appreciate if you use my affiliate links. Otherwise, check out my other videos. If you enjoyed this one, hit like down below. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today and have a great day.